What is up everyone and welcome to my Rebel Alliance Army for 2022. This is every single Lego minifigure that is incorporated within the Rebel Alliance or worked with the Rebel Alliance in my entire collection. We have 170 minifigures from different Hoth Rebels to different uh, sort of named characters and much, much more. So let's go through the entire army and then we're going to have a look at a couple of the vehicles that I do have in the back as well. Now this has grown quite considerably. I'm pretty happy with this army, especially with the new Hoth Rebel pack. So what better place to start than all of my Hoth Rebels. Obviously, we have Snowy Chewy. We have the Luke from the 8080 versus Tauntaun Microfighter, which is actually a really, really nice fig. We have the Leia fig, and then we have Hoth Han Solo. Behind them, we also have a couple of duplicates with another Han and another Chewy right there. Then we do have a load of the new Hoth Rebels. Obviously, the new ones are the ones with the dark tan hats. I really like this. I tried to mix up every single body so they all have different unique combinations and there aren't just sort of repeats of the same fig in there, but I'm pretty happy with that. That is, I think, two of the Rebel packs and then a couple of extras from different other sets and stuff like that, including a couple extra duplicates of the Luke Skywalker that I've mixed in there as well and then we do in fact have a couple of the older ones with the white hats and then some of the even older ones with the light tan hats which actually look really good as well. Overall I do think the new ones look the best uh, but it's cool to see the three different iterations over there. Moving to the other side and my favorite part of the army is these fleet troopers right here. We have an absolute ton of them now. You can see they make up the bulk of this side right here as well as another one over there that kind of didn't fit in uh, but yeah at the front we do have a few of the newer ones with the sort of detailed vest with the pockets. Uh, here's an actual another one here with the dual molded legs. I really like the way that looks and I had a little backpack for him there. Um, he looks really, really cool. I definitely want to get another pair of dual molded legs for this guy here. And then we do in fact have Captain Antilles at the front leading the entire army right there. Then through the middle, we do have a couple more regular rebels as well as some pilots here. At the front, we have Bail Organa and then we have a two different admirals, including General Dodana right there. And then another general there as well. Then we do have a load of different pilots. We have a couple of Luke Skywalkers mixed in there as well as a few different other variants of pilots like A-wing pilots, Y-wing pilots and other things like that. And I think this is a really nice little collection right here. Most of them are the newer style ones with the leg printing and everything. I do have one without leg printing there, as well as another one in the X-Wing over here as well. And then behind them, we have six random rebels. We do have three different Rodians there, which are kind of like mismatched with different bodies and stuff like that, as well as three other ones there in just different regular sort of rebel styles. I'd love to get a battle pack with some regular rebels that we can just mix up together to make different regular rebels that are sort of like mismatched and stuff like that. I think that'd be a really cool battle pack to get. Hopefully we'll get that in the future. Then moving on to some more name characters and stuff like that at the back here. Obviously, we do have my Endor sort of section over here. We only have eight figures for this. We do have Han, we have Leia, we have a couple of aliens and a few different ones right there. We also have the leftover Rebel Fleet Trooper right there, as well as a load of Chewbacca's and other Wookiees just there as well. Over here, we do have my Han Solo. So this is my favorite one right here from the Microfighter with the cool hair and the new sort of hairpiece. And then we do have a load of different Han Solos just behind him, as well as all my other layers left over from the collection, obviously, that didn't fit in the Hoth section or the Endor section over there. A couple of these newer ones that came in the X-Wing, I think these are really, really nice figs. Then we have a couple of Rogue One figs, including Cassian and Baze right there, as well as a couple of Rebels figs, including an Ezra right there, a Kanan, and then also a new minifigure that I added to the collection, which is Zeb. Now, this is a really, really nice fig right there. We also have a couple of High Rebel commands right here with Admiral Akbar and Admiral Radis right there. We also have a couple of Obi-Wans behind them, and then we have a Christmas Mando and all of my Baby Yodas just behind them. I added into the back a couple of people that work with the Rebels, and we do have these sort of Bespin Guards. I really love Bespin Guards for some reason. I wish we could get more of these. I think they look really, really nice. I think they're definitely an under rated looking figure as well as a couple of Ewoks and then Chopper in the corner. Over here we did also have another Luke Skywalker as well as a C-3PO over in his land speeder. And then down the middle we have the other Luke Skywalkers. We have the Bespin Luke, we have a back to tank Luke, we have a farm boy Luke, a couple of the Lukes with the medals which I think look really really bad with that old hairpiece as well as an episode 6 Luke. We also have a Lando from the uh, sail barge I believe this is or maybe a different set like that but it's a really really cool set from his disguise in Return of the Jedi. Then we do have a Cara Dune as well as four different grief cargas. Three of them obviously came in the uh, in the set recently and this one came in the Razor Crest right here. We do also have some Mandos which I decided to include at the back there as well and then we have some protocol droids including a few C-3PO's. This cool silver protocol droid which is pretty sick as well and then the medical droid and then we move into our Astromex over here where we have a load of different R2's. We have nine of them as well as a load more Astromex there and then this guy which is actually a personal favorite of mine with this cool sort of rounded head. I really love that Astromex right there as well. So yeah that's all the minifigs right there. I really do like this collection. I kind of forgot to mention this guy as well from uh, one of the solo sets. But yeah, really cool collection right here. We do also have a couple of X-Wings. We have one and then one over here as well, which are both the 2020 styles, which are quite cool sets. We also have Luke's Land Speeder, which I previously mentioned. Then we also have a Y-Wing over here, an A-Wing and the Tantive 4, which is the biggest set in the collection. So let me know what you think of this collection in the comment section down below, guys. I'd love to hear your feedback. And do you think it would stand a chance against my Imperial Army that I have? If you haven't already
already checked out that video as well as my clone army, make sure to check out them. There'll be links in the description as well as at the end of the video. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Comment down below what you thought and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.